Man, this episode of The Mandalorian was kind of mid. I agree, it's kind of like they're using The Mandalorian franchise as a way to hop off and make other lesser plot lines and lesser shows that the creators are actually interested in. Yeah, basically I feel like them switching to Pershing in the middle of the episode while I'm engaged in the Bo-Katan Mandalorian storyline is kind of dumb. Why'd they do that? I agree, man. This episode was pretty mid. Uh, I don't know why. It was longer, so that should mean more action, more suspense, more goodness, but it sucked. No! 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 In fact, I have something shocking to tell you. I believe that The Mandalorian kind of sucks now and that Disney Star Wars as a whole kind of really is trash. Reason is, basically Disney Star Wars, other than The Clone Wars and Rebels, has not produced anything that is worthy of watching. I would say Mandalorian Season 1 and Season 2 are worthy of watching, but aside from that, there is nothing else worth watching. Bad Batch, boring. Boba Fett, boring. Rogue One, that's actually pretty lit. I, I changed my mind on that, Rogue One's pretty lit. Han Solo, mediocre. The sequel trilogies flopped critically pretty badly so now disney star wars is in a place where people are less excited than ever even kenobi flopped hello there andor is a secret sleeper hit but no one's really gonna shell out more money for andor because no one even really cared to watch andor because star wars fans were so disenfranchised from the sequel trilogy and a bunch of other Star Wars properties that were kind of meh or straight up bad that no one's willing to spend money on this product anymore. So the Mandalorian, they have to use the Mandalorian or Din Djarin every single time that they want to push a new storyline but every single time it's a storyline no one wants to watch. They flopped Boba Fett. They dropped that ball. They flopped Kenobi. They dropped that ball hard too. So I don't trust the Disney Star Wars writers to write anything of worth my time. It's pathetic, really. Super duper sad. Dang, dude. You just went on a one minute rant talking about how much you don't like Disney Star Wars. How about we stay objective and try to talk about the episode? Yep, sorry. My bad. Kathleen Kennedy just gets under my skin so much. Not in a hateful way. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. So the episode starts off the strongest with Mando and Bo-Katan basically escaping Mandalore after seeing the Mythosaurus, well at least Bo-Katan did, and then traveling back to her fortress only to find it under attack by a bunch of Imperials who are bombing her freaking castle. So it leads to an exhilarating chase throughout the entire planet until Mandalorian and Bo-Katan are able to destroy the TIE Fighters, well the first set, and then they are eventually overrun by a bunch more and are forced to retreat. This leads to Bo-Katan and the Mando basically doing slip space jumps into a different area. This area where they're going, we don't see it. Instead we transition to my opinion the worst part of the episode. Pershing. Now Pershing, I actually really don't like watching his character. His character is so uninteresting to watch because he's so weak. And what I mean by that is that he's not really conflicted. He's not a strong character to follow. He's always either being bullied into doing something or being manipulated. And yes, you see him in the New Republic Hall basically talking about oh i'm sorry for creating monstrosities under the empire please forgive me and then they forgive him because they want to use his scientific talents for themselves however because of the fact that the new republic kind of sucks it also makes this hard to watch too and then the new republic is now demilitarized they don't have any plans to like you know restore order to the galaxy or make it a whole democracy or extend their reach Instead, they're just content with letting Imperial remnants build up their forces and eventually destroy them. Now, this makes no sense to me, and it's obvious that it's just setting, it's just setting up the sequel trilogy, which I really don't like. 
I don't like the sequel trilogy. I'm pretty sure everyone doesn't like the sequel trilogy, but they have to run with the sequel trilogy because they wasted a billion dollars on that series of movies and they have to run with it. There is no redoing it. That is just Star Wars looking forward. And they're not releasing any tie-in materials that are interesting or make me want to care about the character. So if I'm being honest, this episode was a hard pass, not because it's connected to the sequels, but also Pershing is just kind of a weak character. And then his moral debate of wanting to create clones or not just seems so weak to me and uninteresting. So I give this episode a 5 out of 10, which is really disappointing considering that the other episode was super hype. I was always intrigued and I was always wanting a longer episode that's filled with more action. But they did that by removing Bo-Katan and The Mandalorian, which is dumb in my opinion. But that's show business, I guess.